Oh, got it. And I'm also recording, so we're going to get posted twice. Okay. Beautiful. You're the best. Move it? Okay. Yeah. So, dude, even if the deck's not moving, dude, you're still getting reflected. I'm going to set it to rotate again. Let's, uh, yeah, you can do that. And maybe we can set it over here if you're not using it. Otherwise, you know, it'll keep on bothering you there. Cool. Or right, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Super. So as you can see, what's hap what's happening is, hey buddy, welcome. All right, so what I'm doing is, I'll share with you. Well, what this the sauce is? It's Sarmarzano tomatoes, um, and I purposely kind of cook it a little in the in one of those coppers because it adds in a lot of color, at the same time adds in a lot of flavor, like a little a touch of I would say acid. Yes. Remember, you're talking to two people. Alrighty. So as you guys can see, um, the chicken you just saw on, uh, which I just put on it, it has a 72 hour uh, mari marination uh, with the masala. And uh, so this way it adds in a lot of, packs in a lot of flavor and uh, comes out really, really yummy. We're gonna put in some of the green peppers, some onions. And it's ready to go in the oven. takes about maybe a minute, minute and a half to cook and should be coming out soon. All right, so this is the first one. You trying to avoid the cracks? No, um, in the rotator? Yeah. It's best to do it closer to the edge so it gets like the full kind of... Got it, got it. I'm with you, bro. Cool, i do that Not next bad. time. Yeah. Okay. So, no, I'll be finishing over there. So if this works, the rotator? Uh-huh. Um, go like here. Like just a couple of inches in. Smart. No, no, you're right, buddy. Yeah, it's uh, it look, looking good. Thank you. So this one, as you can see, this was the first pizza uh, with my, my, my dough. It has about 70% caputo one, and it has 30%. Uh, and now this is the tikka masala sauce. Uh, what what the sauce? What cilantro does is it gets all the flavors together really, really well. Some lucky people are gonna try it, so you guys should, uh, you guys have to be over here, so enjoy it.
Cool. Give it a shot, buddy. Thanks. It's a little char on the side, uh, at the bottom, but you can explain. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. So this way we don't use these, we can move it away, right? So we don't mix by mistake. Cool, help yourself. Center is really, really stable, as you can see. 
and nice. And then watching out for the sides, I'm going to lift it up, make sure the center is not touched, dust off all the extra flour. Make a beautiful center, as you can see, go through straight. Now let's make another pizza. Yeah, be careful at the center, it might be two. US? Now we're gonna add some lamb on it. I really appreciate it. Help you. Now this pizza, like the last one, took everybody to India. This one is going to take you to uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Not necessary Cairo, but the flavor profile is different over there. Alexandria, it's very sophisticated. In other words, let's put it the high level education. So lamb is a delicacy there, and that's my idea to use lamb and then complement the lamb. And what you see when I'm going to put on top of it, this is called dola. Uh, it's, it's a mix of 21 different herbs and spices. And then, the sauce uh, has the uh, same spices in it as well. And it's called the Henry sauce. It's yogurt base. It's also considered mother of all yogurt based sauces. Sorry, watch your step, I'm sorry. Look at the structure in the crust. <laughs> Spectacular. Yeah, thank you.
Catch you later. Did you try my Indian one? Come on over. Give this a shot. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>